What's going on YouTube? Jamie the Kid Zero Zero here, coming to you guys with like a different way of um, doing a deck profile. I think I felt like experimenting, and Cupcakey got this nice new mat, and I really wanted to do a video with the majority of the mat in it. To those of you who are watching this, sh this should be Tournament Diary like twenty three point five. Um, I had two locals this weekend. I already did a Tournament Diary with wind ups, uh, and I ended up playing wind ups again for this locals uh, with a slightly a slightly worse result and a slightly tweaked deck list, so I figured I'd show it off in a new style and actually um, see what you guys think um, and see if you guys want me to do this deck profile more often. It actually took quite a while to set this up. There are four binders, a laptop, two tins, and uh, a carry case holding the camera up at the moment, so <laughs> let's see how it goes. Either way, I'm going to do the deck profile and hopefully it is a high definition camera and hopefully it'll capture everything. So, to start off with the monsters, we played one wind up hunter, the staple for the loop. Uh, triple wind up rat, triple shock. This is all staple stuff, of course. Double magician. I still think three is too many. I should probably mention that if you really don't care about deck profile, the, the wind up deck, you may as well just go now. Uh, wind up rabbit at one because um, I was borrowing a second one yesterday on Saturday, and um, the guy who loaned me it had to sell it at the end of that day, so I had to play one rabbit. Saturday, sorry Sunday, it wasn't that much of a problem, but I ended up replacing it with a tech uh, wind up soldier. I really quite enjoyed that. Uh, I use wind up soldier, I think, every single time, every single match, to get over just big things that Zen might, you know, you go Zen might, Zen might, Zen might, and then you're in, then you're in a spot of bother really. So soldier really solved the problems of those big beaters, especially against GBs and things like that, and to a lesser extent Chaos Dragons. Uh, then for the non wind up stuff, we play the triple tour guide. And the Sangen, because of course it helps with your hand loop, gets you into Zen Mighties quickly, sets off your advantage systems. It's just a general plus one. A lot of the cards in here are just plus one cards, so what's not to want? Then I play the One Reaper, because One Reaper is awesome. And then for the hand traps, I'll start over here again. Play the Double Veiler, because I, I didn't have room for three, uh, because I was playing Double Max C. Again, I didn't regret this. I did play against Chaos Dragons and Heroes, and... Maxi was still a bit relevant there. It was alright. It wasn't amazing, but Maxi's. And one goes. That's that's the monster lineup. It's pretty much exactly the same as what I played before, but onto the spells. One reborn, one dark hole, one storm, one book, one mind control, one avarice. I took out the salvage because it wasn't working for me. And I wanted the deck to be a bit more consistent. And it was actually worse at the event, seeing as I kept drawing double rat magician a lot, which was not fun. Uh, triple Space Typhoon, because you need three to go off. Uh, double Instant Fusion. Uh, Shoutouts to Max Warrior 72 I've forgotten your number, the number now, for uh, giving me another Ultra Instant Fusion, because I'm a rarity whore like that, and I really didn't like having one Ultra, one common. Uh, these are absolutely amazing, the amount of times you can just go summon... summon sh loads of people don't know what what's going on when you summon a shark and make it level five. They never Veiler it, and then you just go, yeah, Instant Fusion? They go, oh, yeah. No one ever sees the instant fusion coming, which is a great element of surprise. Trap lineup. We played the one compulse. Sorry, two compulse. I forgot about that. Um, I believe I bumped that up. I think I was playing one compulse before or one chain. But yeah, two compulse, double bottomless, which is standard. Double torrential, which I needed so many times and I never drew. Uh, double warning. And the solemn judgment. Uh, that rounds off the main deck. I believe it was 41 cards, but... Yeah, I'll just grab all this up, because I didn't actually think about how I was going to put it all away. There we go. Right, what next? What next? Extra deck. Why not? The extra deck is fairly standard. Uh, it's the triple Zen Mighty for your loop and your advantage system. One Zen Mains, because the tin hasn't reprinted one and it's too expensive to get two. Uh, Leviathan Dragon. Levier. Uh, Giga Brilliant. I didn't make this very often. Uh, for the fours, we played Maystroke, Utopia, and Roach. I only made Maystroke to get over some stuff. Uh, then for the fives, we played Tyrus, Adrius, which I made loads, and Zenmayo. And then, of course, for our instant fusions, we played our Flame Ghost and Reaper on the Nightmare. All right, let's go for the side deck. Why not? This is really hodgepodge, and I should say I didn't play D-Fidgers because I couldn't find them. I found them now, so if I play wind-ups again, I will play D-Fidgers, but I'm probably going to play Gem Knights from now on, because I'm one card off, 
So yeah. Anyway, let's go through the side. I had one. I had one extra veiler for um, things like insectors, crazy stuff like that. Even though I didn't really draw any more veilers against uh, the insector player that I played in top eight and subsequently lost to. Ah uh, well. One Victoria. Uh, this was amazing on Saturday, but Sunday not so much. I didn't really get it ever against dragons. Uh, Penguin Soldier because it was a mad tech and it was so much fun to use. Uh, Kaiku because it's Kaiku and it wrecks people's days. Double Snowman Eater for high beta decks uh, like Heroes and Rabbit. Well, I say high beta, you know, 1900 beta decks. And these were these were really good against the hero player that I went up against. Uh, I played one level limit because I couldn't find my second one again. Uh, double Soul Taker, for Chaos Dragons and Heroes. Double Chalice for Insectors and anything that relies on effects. Um, and just because I really like Chalice. Uh, double Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, which I drew when I had no monsters, so Insectors just beat me down. And then one Dust Tornado, because I was afraid of Skill Drain and Gozen and things to that nature. Anyway guys, that has been uh, Tournament Diary 23.5. Um, talk about my matchups. Uh, round 1 I went up against a Hero Drain player and beat him because I opened the nuts and he just didn't have anything. I had the MSTs every time he had skill drain, so it was just me being jammy. Uh, then next I played Chaos Dragons and lost, just I didn't have anything. Um, you know, it was a fair game, he won. Uh, then next up I went up against Light Swarms and we went into time for game three and um, he went first, summoned Lila, milled a dandelion and had two tokens. I go summon soldier, attack, and he goes, uh, yeah, honest. There you go. And that just put me in a bad situation and he went to control the game from there. He just had the nuts. Uh, so I lost two games th after that and then I went into round four against my friend and the guy who driven me up there who was playing GBs and I beat him because he didn't understand what wind-ups do because he's, he's, he's been out of the game. Fair play to him. But he won one round um, but I had hand loop a lot of the time every other time. Uh, and then round five I ended up going up against... I can't actually remember. Yeah, either way, round five I had this game, which I won. And then I made it to top eight on 3-2, which wasn't exactly the best score, but oh well. Uh, and then I ended up going up against an Insector player. And uh, I won game one fairly swiftly. Uh, game two, I ended up opening... Well, I ended up opening like Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, Double Rat, Magician, swiftly lost... Well, I lost that game after struggling and struggling and struggling and then lost. Um, and then game three, I the only monster I drew was Magician besides Veilers and things like that, so he eventually whittled me down. And that was the end of that event. But otherwise, I had a lot of fun. I managed to pick up some cool trades. Uh, I got almost everything I need for my Infernity deck and my Gem Knight deck, so that was pretty cool. But otherwise, this has just been another Tournament Diary. Let me know if you've enjoyed this um, this style of filming. Uh, I will warn you guys there will be a couple more Vanguard videos coming up and apologies if you've seen my legs or my feet in this video because I was recording on the floor because the desk is covered in crap at the moment. Otherwise this has been Jamie the Kid 0 and I will see you soon with some more content. Peace out guys. Bye.